Good morning, uh, this is a uh, WinForm GTX program. It's an instructional video by Gary Robinson for www.horseracingaustralia.info. That's www.horseracingaustralia.info. Now I have to warn you that this is not a brief presentation. Uh, it's a educational video for those of you who are using the GTX uh, program already and for those of you who are considering using it. Uh, this particular version of the program only has WinForm ratings in it. It also has a uh, program called CS in it, which we interpret uh, is our horse racing today, which uh, we've had available on our website for some time, except instead of being able to see just the top two runners, it gives you the lot. So I'm just going to take you, I've got this uh, particular uh, pro, uh, race meeting up today for the 15th of May. It's Albany race two. The track condition is a slow seven. And the first thing I'll show you is what are you going to do if the track conditions were to be, say, upgraded to a soft five. I take my mouse and I click left and that cycles me through the various track conditions. When I get to the good four rating, I can leave that there and move on to the next race and do that one. Very simple uh, thing to do. Now, if uh, you wanted to change the track condition for the entire race meet, I hold the control button down on my keyboard with my left hand and I left click that track condition there and now you'll find if I go to race 8 every race at the meeting is a good 4. However because it happens to be a slow 6 and first of all let me change the rating so I've got that listed in order of HR2D or it's listed as CS here and it has a set of scales over on the side to indicate what it is. I'm going to go down to WF, which is the WinForm symbol. So I've now got the WinForm ratings there. And you'll see along here we have a mud and bog folder. When I've changed that to the soft track, you'll find that the mud condition comes in there. Okay, here we go. So from soft 6 or soft 7, the mud factor gets involved. And let me just uh, press the control button and left click that. So now the entire meeting is a soft seven. Okay, so this particular race we're looking at, uh, just one, no reason for this particular race, just to show you, the first three horses there have no mud factor whatsoever. And that's probably because there's not enough information to indicate one or the other. It may not have even had any runs on a wet track. On the other hand, Fangio obviously goes well in the wet, only had a couple of runs. If we have a look there, we find they were both on slow tracks or rain affected. So it gets a uh, six point bonus. Okay. Um, if we go to uh, De Grey Lady, doesn't go so well on a wet track, so it gets a three point penalty. Motor car, motor car, really hates the wet. So if we can have a look down here, seven runs in the wet for not a single placing. So obviously it gets the maximum penalty of nine points. Looking at the points on this other column, which is other, you'll see there that it's mostly 20 point negative. Now that's if there's a particular reason for us uh, not liking the horse. So we just put a set 20 points in there, the computer does it for us and says, okay, not worth looking at that horse. But if we wanted to look at the horse and maybe make a change, we can just click on, look at the form for Carl Brunesco. What we find is that the horse has only had one win from 25 starts. Why would you want to back it? So, not a good investment. Unlikely to get win number two today. And uh, that's what we do. Okay. Now you'll find in this one, this has got an 8.1 bonus here. Uh, what that is, because that horse has only had runs on wet tracks, then it gets a bonus based on what it might be able to do, or it would be a, a little bit faster horse if the uh, today's um, uh, if it was a good track today. So it gets an eight point bonus. 
So in actual fact, it's a bit better horse than it was, or what the computer thought it was. On this particular one campaign, it only gets a 10.4 because the rating is taken from a wet track rating and therefore it got a bonus to say, well, if it was a good track, it could run a bit faster, so you get a fair comparison with the other horses. But the penalty is not as severe because it's been reduced by that bonus it would get. Okay, a bit complicated, but nevertheless, you'll soon get used to it. Okay, so uh, let's get back to an ordinary meeting. Let's go to Scone, and we might just have a look at a random race. It's over 1,400. It's a benchmark 84. Um... There are no penalties uh, for the mud factor in this. It is a good four track. So uh, no problems whatsoever. We do have some penalties in here, which you could look at if you want. I can tell you now this particular horse, Redemption Road, it's got an X there, which indicates it's first up from a spell. It gets a 20 point penalty because it's first up over a longer race. If we had a look at that horse, we might say to ourselves, well, hang on. What's it like first up? And we notice there 25.6 as opposed to its regular rating of around a 50 to 56 mark. So consequently, we wouldn't expect it to do a great deal uh, first up. Okay. Anyway, there are our horses and uh, for our wind form ratings, we've got the uh, our rated prices. We've got the wind form net points after any bonuses or penalties. If you look in this column here, we've got barrier penalties based on where they are. So these vary from zero all the way out to this particular horse is in barrier 15. It gets a 1.6 point penalty for being in the wide barrier. That's an adjustment that we've got built in. So that's something you can do with the horses. Okay, explains pretty much what you're seeing on there. Now, I'll just uh, scan through a couple of races on what we're looking at is the wind form column there, so that's uh, because we're in the wind form mode. The uh, top rated horse is always the wind form number one rated horse. And in the CS, which is the horse racing to today mode, um, you can see that it's rated ninth, so quite a bit of difference there. On the other hand, hit the target there, is rated second by wind form, is also second on our HR2D scale, if you like. Okay, in uh, race seven, it's a 1 and a 9 again in race 8. So this is interesting. Bollywood here, rated on top by Windform, also rated on top by our HR2D rating, which comes under CS in the GTX program. Now, another feature here is we can um, click on these here. This is the t tab fixed price. Uh, this is the Victorian tab price. And this is the uh, Queensland tabs tote price. So the fixed prices should be the same. It's the same team of bookmakers sets the odds. So therefore, the New South Wales fixed price should be the same as the Victorian tab and Queensland tabs fixed prices. Uh, these are the tote odds to give you a guide. After the race, you'll find that you'll have a finishing position and a starting price in there, as long as the, uh, along with the uh, best of the three totes dividend. But anyway, so straight away in the morning we can work out what the prices of the horses are likely to be. Over here we've put in a column giving you the trainer and jockey and over here we've got gear changes. There's more information as we have a look at the horses. So if we click on uh, Bollywood here, well, we can see that last start at Gosford it did win but over on the right I've got the stewards report that said it was slowly away and laid in in the straight. And you can see all the other reports down there for each run. Okay, Bollywood gets a fair bit of uh, a talking to in the stewards' reports. Some horses uh, don't have any problems at all. This one's got quite a few. Okay, so that's just extra information that's available. So they're the first uh, and most important features of it. And also, of course, if I just go back to Bollywood again, we get to see where the wind form rating is derived from. In this case, if you look at the WF column, which is wind form, you can see here it's highlighted in blue. Uh, that's a 65. Okay, you'll see that it also did a 30, then a 49, 53, and so on. It's third up from a spell. We're anticipating with this particular rating coming from its third run from a spell, 
we're anticipating that it can run up to that rating again. And so that's why we look at it and you can see that there. Okay, now we've got a thing here called systems. And what it allows you to do, when you get this program with the WinForm and GTX, uh, the WinForm GTX program, it will have installed in it already for you all of the WinForm systems that we've been supplying to our clients over the years. So that all the ones that we regard are working. Now we revise those from time to time and mostly we'll be able to notify you and give you the opportunity to get them into your program for a small fee. In the meantime though, with your starting program, if we have a look here, uh, we can click on here, group, and what's in our group are all the systems that we have working for us for today. So we can just click on Winfall, so that's all of the WinForm systems. We simply press run, and all those systems come up there along with their system name. So you can see those there for the day. And uh, of course, if you're getting WinForm, you'll know, or you subscribe to WinForm previously, you'll know what those symbols mean. But we can print them all out, and we just uh, right-click those. We can go Print Selections, and uh, there they are ready for you to print out if you want to print them out individually. You might want to do the systems individually, and they might, so we just click on System, and you might be able to go in here and say, for example, click on, let's click on best bets for the day. We click on run. We can see there are no selections for today. We might want to click on and uh, look under maiden selections. We click on run. And there is a maiden selection, just one of those for today. Okay. So that's fairly easy to operate. We can just click on the X there. It takes us out of the system part. And now I'm going to show you how you can print out the form, particularly so that it looks the same as what we do um, when we're putting them up on the website. So we click on Setup and then Print. When we've clicked on Print, the setup I've got is for Internet. So I click that and then I can print just that race if you like. And I open that up. And this is the printout you see. So from left to right, you've got the form, name of the horse, the win form price, the margin. Now, because it was a win last start, that means it won by an point two. If you look at the horse underneath, it ran second and it lost by point two. The price we've got on that today is $6. Then you've got the prize money change from last start to this start, handicap, the barrier position. The uh, win percent of the horse the place percent of the horse, a hash. Now that represents the average prize money ranking. So in other words, the highest ranking prize money horse is this one, down the bottom here, Deepwood Vale. It's had two runs, but of course it's up first up from a spell today, which is one of the reasons it's uh, sitting down there. And our top two horses are actually uh, fifth and sixth in the average prize money. This net, that tells you what our actual rating is after any adjustments. And the other column tells you whatever adjustments we've applied. And the TCDWHB is the usual thing. So like a capital T means one at the track, a lowercase t means placed at the track and so on. So that's track, this course and distance, this distance on a wet track, home track, and uh, B indicates a beaten favorite. Okay, all right. I think that might be enough explanation for you. And of course, you're always welcome to call up for any assistance in um, how to interpret any of the information there. I hope that's a help to everybody. And just putting there again, you can go to horseracingaustralia.info and you'll find more information there. Thanks for watching.